what's good martians welcome back to another video from your girl guys today we're going to talk about what i learned in 2021 about myself so make sure y'all stick around before we start this video make sure y'all smash that subscribe button join the family i will see y'all after this intro baby myself you know what why not do this video and then I'm like what did I really learn about myself in 2021 and then I thought about it and I'm like come on girl you must have learned something about yourself or you must have changed something about yourself in 2021 so I thought deep <laughs> I honestly like 2021 was rough Every year is motherfucking rough, okay? Listen, we've been going through COVID-19 for two years or so, okay? They found it late 2019. We got shut down in 2020 and the shutdown rolled right in in 2021. And then like 2022, here we go, shut down again. I don't know. <laughs> I had COVID in 2020 in the beginning stage one thing that i told my girls was it wasn't like the symptoms like i actually somewhat vlogged my days i tried to make sure y'all check those out when i got tested for covid19 you know check those videos out after this video but um like i said i told my girls that it wasn't me having symptoms that was bad like my symptoms was not that bad thank god for that you know it was the part that I had to isolate for two weeks you know I felt like that was the hardest part about it especially the fact that like I am so hands-on with my kids I was locked up in a room and they were outside and I couldn't physically touch them I never go a day without telling them I love them or kissing them or loving them up and just like me not be able to do that was like the hardest thing and just me being locked up in a room by myself yeah like i would my mom was there thank god for that so she like just took care of me you know but that taught me a lot it made me like really think and like just like process what was going on in my life and like you know, it also made me think about what can happen in the future and just a whole lot. Why I say that? Because like that rolled over into 2021. I just, I felt like I learned to be more grateful of life no matter um, what situation I'm in. I may not be where I wanna be right now, but I should be thankful and grateful. And I know I'm blessed, you know? I should just be grateful and thankful that I am in a okay space and a great situation right now, you know? Compared to back then. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I learned forgiveness. Why I say that? Why do you say that, girl? Why did you learn to forgive? Like, you should already have that in you. Yes, I, I have that in me, but, you know, certain situations that I um, previously went through, I used to say that, mm -mm, I am not going to forgive this person and I'm just like done with that. I found that it was 
not only holding me back, I had to learn to forgive and let go of what happened in the past and move forward. I feel like if I don't let go negative energy and feeling within myself, like I'm not going to, I'm not gonna like live and be happy like I wanna be. I actually learned to forgive that person and move on. After doing that, like I feel like weight was like lifted off my chest, if you know what I mean. So in 2021, I actually learned to forgive because I definitely really didn't think that I was gonna forgive that person, but I did and it feels good. <laughs> yes. So the next thing that I feel like I learned in 2021 was um, a little bit more patience. I find that before, my patience was like running thin and that meant like even with the kids or just like in just everyday life, you know, helping somebody with something and they didn't get it. Like I was just like annoyed very quickly and um, I felt, and I had to like step back for a second and be like, like girl, like relax, <laughs> like you need to learn how to put yourself in other sh people's shoes, you know, and just learn some patience. So I, the way that I learned to have patience with others, like I feel like if I am going to get mad or like, you know, I feel that feeling of that, that tension, that feeling inside, because when I'm about to be mad or sad, like I get like this, this feeling in my chest, like, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but like my chest starts to feel tight. So that happens when I'm gonna get mad or I'm gonna cry <laughs> and I'm trying to hold that back. But so when I start to get that feeling, like I'll just like take a moment, you know, and I'll just go by myself. And for y'all that know me, I ain't gonna sugarcoat shit. Like I'll hold a spliff, okay, to myself and then gather my thoughts and come back and deal with the situation. So, um, that's not to say that I always go out there and hold a spliff, but you know, sometimes I do. Or like, I'll just go out, take a breather, or just go in my room and just take like a two minute break to myself, gather my thoughts, you know, breathe in, breathe out a little and um, come back to the situation. So um, I felt that I've been getting a lot better with that. And um, yeah, so I, I definitely learned um, a little bit more patience in 2021. This year, I don't bottle much in. I try to talk about my feelings. So whatever that I may, these kids, whatever I may be going through at that time or just whatever I'm going through, like I have like a circle of friends and it's just a few that I talk to and I can release that, that um, energy and just feel good. Do not hold or bottle anything in. If you have a friend, try to talk about your problems with at least one. I'm not saying go talk to a bug of people about your business, but I'm just saying, you know, just release. If you have just that one friend that you can trust or two that you can trust, you know, just try to like release whatever you're going through because it is not good to hold things in and just to carry that energy around, it's, it's not a good feeling. So this year I learned to um, release that and I learned to stop bottling things in. Okay, um, I don't share my, my whole entire business, you know, but like if something is really bothering me and um, I know like I have a few friends that I really can trust, like I do go to them and um, like I said, like I surround myself with positive people. You know, so um, when I do come to my friends with um, like a problem, you know, um, they don't tell me what I want to hear. They do tell me good advice. I also learn self-awareness, just more in tune with my feelings and my body. Um, not so much health-wise, I definitely need to start 
somewhere. Change up my bad habit of eating, okay? But yeah, what's up? Can you give me some ice cream when you're done this Okay. I don't like your first. Alright, thanks. I am hoping that in 2022, we are here now, like I will start or try, but I, I want to learn to trust people um, and let them in a little bit more. And when I say that, that means like, like, you know, like, relationship wise or just friendship wise you know period it's just because of what i've been through in the past i kind of like put a guard up you know and it is it's natural you know what i mean <laughs> that's that mothers that's that anywho guys um the kids are making up a whole bag of noise so i'm going to end this video but i want to know please comment down below what do you guys learn about yourself in 2021 please like let me know in the comment section as always make sure y'all smash that subscribe button don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so y'all can be the first one to be notified after your girl posts a video and uh, yeah, my kids are them a ball out right now. So um, I will see y'all in another one. Peace.